this is a pole, but it's growing in the tree. The real question is, can I jump from here to there? Why is this here? Am I, look am I looking at it? <laughs> what a day it is, what a day. This actually brings me on to what I want to talk about today. It's just gratitude for the things that you've got. Uh, I've recently just completed my 10k race that was had such a good time. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I was very grateful to be in the position that I'm in to do the race. Um, just physically, mentally, and just having the time to do it and the encouragement of people for me. Uh, yeah, just all in all, it was just such a good day. I really, really enjoyed it. Now, what's making me feel that way is I ended up having ski touring day as well. That was would have been last week once this video was up, but what a day, what a day that was. If you've not watched that video, I'd recommend watching it. Yeah, just having the, the 10k race one week and then the, the ski tour and an avalanche safety day the following week was just, yeah, just very, very grateful to be able to do these kinds of things. Um, yeah, I'll talk more about that in a second. Now, the point I would like to make about this is, I mean, this applies to anyone who is achieving anything in their lives. I think it's easy to say, oh, thanks to this person, thanks to that person, but you really need to remind yourself, and I'm just reminding myself as well, is that it's me, me that got me here. I know there's been encouragement, people helping out, but hey, I just wanted to say, to myself, and I think other people should say to themselves more often that just be grateful that you've put yourself in your situation. Maybe you're not in a good situation, but it's up to you to get yourself out of that situation. And if you have gotten out of that situation, you need to put a lot more thanks, a lot more thanks, a lot more gratitude into, you just be grateful to yourself for the things that you've achieved and the things that you're still to achieve. And I just feel very grateful to me. <laughs> I am great. I did this. Um, there is an element of sarcasm there, but I don't want to take away from the fact that it's me that's putting in these kilometers. It's me that's booking these trips. It's me that's doing this. It's me that's doing that. And yeah, I'm just very thankful to myself for having the, the motivation and the ability to do such and just Keep that consistency that I keep talking about. I guess just what it is I'm trying to say without seeming too arrogant is just be thankful for things. Um, whether that's people, objects, just like your own accomplishments, whatever. Just it's so easy to be self-critical and just really put yourself or others down. But again, no matter what it is you've done, big or small, is you did that, and you should be thankful for that because. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say time's running out and you should be but <laughs> I mean that is the case right um, I think it's good to, to have that kind of awareness because well yeah, in my books it makes you more thankful for things so that's me just complete the run I just actually realised I spoke about the, the 10k race really uh, felt amazing really really enjoyed it I think I've got a lot more to give than I gave myself credit for very happy about that. Very, very happy about like what the future is going to hold for me in terms of like hill running and just just general activities. Especially with the ski touring, uh, the fitter I can be running, the fitter I'm going to be for ski touring. Just going to make it more enjoyable. If I'm not <laughs> blowing out my arse going up the hills on skis, then yeah, I'll enjoy it so much more. Not thought it's through. I'm now legally blind. <laughs> but I had a plan for the race. I feel like I stuck that plan really well and it went really well. I ended up coming 39th out of 450. So that place, uh, the time it took me to get that place was 47 minutes and 25 seconds. Uh, the course elevation, I think, was about 180 meters of elevation. As for the, the ski tour and that, that was wild. That really was wild. I recommend watching the, the video on that, but yeah. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. The, the thought of knowing, well, knowing more of what to do in 
bad situations I feel like that is just very helpful for the future and just kind of opens up adventures for me um, I want to be safe but I don't want to limit myself on what I can and can't do so I think just learning the the right kind of things is really important for what it is that I want to do uh, the main thing for me is map reading I touched on that in the, the skiing video but yeah map reading that is that's the next thing for me so with these runs I'm going to start taking a, a map and compass with me and just figuring that out but uh, this is just going to be a short and sweet one for me uh, weirdly I actually don't really have much to say which I've been very happy about um, usually my head's just sort of fully fully thoughts but it's just been nice enjoying being back running after like almost two weeks off I took up so yeah this is my first run back I ended up doing nine kilometers and overall just having a fantastic time tomorrow now here's some things that go through my head what is this why is this here am i look am i looking at <laughs> what is this you can see this tree trees falling down and this bit this bit is broken what happens to this tree like what goes on here what what is the reality of this part how long has it been there for how long will it be there for there's gonna be one day that's gonna fall and if no one is around to see it or hear it, has it even happened? Who knows? But these are some of the little things that go on in my head when I'm going on my runs. Was this worth the shot? Can you see my legs? It is filled with... Look at it. Look at this. What a mess. So this brings me to my next point of was this worth it? Now... Why am I overthinking this? <laughs> Why am I now recording this part? But questioning, was this worth it? It was something that I wanted to do. Is it something that you <laughs> Is it something that you wanted to do? If the answer is yes, well then you should have done it. Who cares what the end result was? It was something that you wanted to do. Did you know you were gonna enjoy it? No. So yeah, you could have enjoyed it. You might not have enjoyed it. Who cares? It's something that you wanted to do. You should continue doing it. Um, is the auto framing on this unsettling? The real question is, can I jump from here to there? Barely. <laughs> I run it. Now, I've just come across this. It's a pole, but it's growing in the tree. Like, huh, nice. Look at this, what a place to be. I love exploring. It is one of the few things, actually, there's a lot of things that bring me joy in life. I'm a very easily pleased man. Uh, for, for a way to spend a day, this is it. This is the recovery run that's followed on from yesterday's run and just I'm really, really enjoying just exploring and having time to, to think about things. I know I mentioned in, earlier in the video that it was nice that I had clear thoughts for the day. This is back to one of those really busy days. So yeah, I think just more exploration, more exploration uh, and just time to think. That's all I need at this moment in time. So I'm gonna get back to it. Thank you.